What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Tuesday. So, uh, Sunday, on the Facebook group, somebody posted some stuff on there that was going on social media. I took a look at it. Uh, the gist of the whole thing is basically the wildcard trading cards uh, was sent, or the company just came back last year. They were around in the 90s. Some of you guys might know them from back then. Well, anyhow, somebody said the Mac Jones audience you can see on the uh, screen in front of you. In for grading. PSA returned it. As you can see with the return label and everything. Return, not licensed, unauthorized, no holder. Do not hold her. So a lot of questions arise and everything out there. Because of the wording, not licensed, unauthorized. People are like, well, Panini Baseball is not authorized. You can just imagine the flow of the chat that was going with it. So... I didn't know if, like, this was a fake picture, somebody cut and cropped it. You know, it's just one of those things out there, unless you know the person that did it or something out there like that. Uh, we had, I had a little bit of a conversation with a couple people over it. You know, we didn't really get into wild card last year. I don't know anybody graded any wild card or sent it in previously to any, any of the people out there, whether it's back at SGC or PSA. Well, now I do know somebody sent PSA. So I, I was kind of shocked in the way it wasn't graded offhand. Uh, so basically yesterday I'm like, well, you know what? I know a lot of people tag PSA car at PSA car trying to get a response. And I'm sure they get tagged in thousands and thousands of posts a day. So it's kind of hard to catch everything. So I figured, what the heck? I'm going to go on Instagram and send that Turner message. Wrote a pretty little bit lengthy one, but I wanted to make sure, you know... What I was trying to get out came across correctly, and he actually responded back to me. Uh, it wasn't even long after either, and the gist of his message back was that they are not grading wild card trading cards. So it was really nice of him to take time out of his Sunday and everything respond back to me. Uh, at least I know now because I primarily, with my stuff, grade straight with PSA onto a lot. That if I came at a card show and seen one of these cards, you know, and I wanted to get a grade, I'm going to have to look another route. I do not know if Beckett and SGC are grading them. If you guys own them, I'd probably see if you can call them up on the phone if it's possible. Or send an email message out to find out if they're actually grading them. Maybe look at their pop reports. That might even be a quicker way if you can't reach them by phone. But thought I'd put this out there, everybody, just in case you... Uh, or out there, you buy a, a wild card uh, card from 2021. I'm not too sure if they're grading the 90s ones or not. I think they did back in the day, and they still do. But as far as these here, they are not grading them according to Nat Turner and according to the label in front of you out there. So just a heads up on to it out there. Appreciate the information as always you guys pass along to me. Um, you know, thanks to that Turner replying back very quickly because I was kind of curious onto it. Wanted to make sure this wasn't something that was doctored and just thrown up onto the card itself. All right, guys, have a good one. Catch you guys next video.